The sun will have a fate such as this, where at the end, its outer layers of gas will escape into space. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps finding galaxies that shouldn't exist, scientists have warned. Six of the earliest and most massive galaxies that NASA's Breakthrough Telescope has seen so far appear to be bigger and more mature than they should be, given where they are in the universe. Now, the esteemed theoretical physicist and futurist Michio Kaku has broken his silence on the fate of the Big Bang. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. The new findings build on previous research, where scientists reported that despite coming from the very beginnings of the universe, the galaxies were as mature as our own Milky Way. And a new paper has appeared to confirm those findings by stress testing the galaxies to better understand how they formed. It suggests that if scientists have not made a mistake, we may be missing some fundamental information about the universe. If the masses are right, then we are in uncharted territory, said Mike Boylan Culchin from the University of Texas at Austin. We'll require something very new about galaxy formation or a modification to cosmology. One of the most extreme possibilities is that the universe was expanding faster shortly after the Big Bang than we predict, which might require new forces and particles. It suggests that the information from Webb proposes a profound dilemma for scientists. The data indicates that there might be something wrong with the dark energy and cold dark matter paradigm that that has been guiding cosmology for decades. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. Usually, galaxies convert around 10% of their gas into stars, but the newly discovered galaxies would have to be converting almost the entirety of it into stars. That is theoretically possible, but it is a departure from what scientists would ever have expected. Further observation of the galaxies should better clarify their ages and masses. They should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. It might show that the observations are incorrect, that supermassive black holes at their center are heating the galaxies up, so they look more massive than they are, or that they are actually from a later time than expected but look older because of imaging problems. But if they are confirmed, then astronomers may have to change their understanding of the cosmos and how galaxies grow to adjust their model to account for the unusually large and mature galaxies. What do you think is going on? Gravitational lensing magnifying them, making them look larger than they actually are, and hence nearer? Or maybe, just maybe, it is time to revise the theory of cosmic inflation. Well, esteemed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson believes otherwise. The tenets of the Big Bang. That the universe started out small, hot, dense, uh, where matter and energy were a primordial soup, where the forces of nature had merged. All of that is thoroughly supported by observations. Mr. Tyson does have a talent for using humor and wordplay to convey his messages and make complex topics more accessible. For example, he once tweeted, just an FYI, the odds of any of us existing are one in 10 to the power 2,685,000. That's 10, followed by 2,685,000 zeros. In other words, zero. So just be happy you exist. Now he breaks down the Big Bang in a simpler way. If tomorrow you have a new idea about how the universe works, 
it's gonna enclose everything we've been talking about up to that moment that has been experimentally and observationally verified. You can enclose it in something deeper. Okay, you can say, oh, wait, I have an idea. And our universe would have expanded from a dense, hot cool uh, state and has been cooling ever since. That's observed and that's real and that's not going away. They say, oh, Big Bang is in trouble. Scientists go back to the drawing, but Big Bang is not in trouble. It is a whole thing that could conceivably fit in a deeper, bigger uh, idea. The, the, the early universe was cold instead of hot. That is not gonna happen. That's not how science works. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. There might be a full picture of the Big Bang, which it might be a subset of, and that there is no way the Big Bang can be removed from the equations of the origins of the universe. Yes, we know that the universe is expanding. And if we trace it all the way back in time, it ends up in a tiny point of singularity. We don't know where the singularity came from. We don't know how the first black holes formed. The recent web images prove that we don't know much about galaxy formation in the early universe. In fact, we don't know a lot about the universe that we claim to do. In the quest to understand the origins of the cosmos, Maybe we could show a little humility and trust the process. This incredible discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope is a testament to the power of human curiosity and scientific exploration, and it promises to deepen our understanding of the cosmos in profound ways as time passes. Behold, because the understanding of the cosmos is changing faster than ever, who knows what the James Webb Telescope will do next? Maybe it will find alien life on an exoplanet? See you in the next video.